Okay, hey guys, it's that time. It's that time again. I did one of these last year, but I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be trying trying to do one of these one of these every year. But this will be an update video to my um um noir and black heart shrines that I did last year. So let's this is let's just go ahead and get started on the, on this. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this detail, but this will be the first part we go into. I'll, I'll just do a quick view over. <clears throat> And one thing, I will be adding music to this in the background, so you'll probably, you'll, I mean, you'll probably already be able to hear it. So let's just, let's just go and get started with showing off everything, starting with what's on this part. So just that way, I don't knock anything over. First up is a badge. I have I have quite a few of these, which you'll see coming up. But this was actually an artist an artist made this, and he sold them at, he sold them at a convention in Japan a few years back, and he um. He, if you wanted one, he could ship internationally. You you would just have to me message him on, through his email address, and he will let he will let you have he, he would let you buy one of them from him. This is um just another badge that um, NIS America sold on their website when they still done when they when they were still the ones that published Neptunia over, over here in the states and Europe. Here's a newer version of that same badge that, that NIS America had. <clears throat> then if I can get, if I can show it on on camera. This is something a friend maybe made me a, f a few years back. It's just more like a keychain, but I just have it on my shelf just to sh just just to show it off. Next is another little keychain thing. This was the um, this is from the um, limited edition of Neptunia Action U in Japan. I think it was like in like the Famitsu D DX pack or something like that. I'm not gonna try to go over where everything came from, but just maybe some of the bigger, maybe just ver various things that I want to. Another badge. I mean, like usually these are like keychains, I believe, but I don't use them as keychains because I don't want to lose them, break them, or get them dirty or anything like that. Another badge. I'm, I'm gonna go through the badges pretty quick, quickly now, aside from this one. I ordered something off eBay, off of off of um Etsy from someone, and they actually sent me this. Just you know, as sort of like a little thank you for buying it. It's Noir cosplaying as 2B from Near Automata. Kind of, kind of, kind of interesting. And like, if you follow the series for any amount of time, you know what you know what this um, you know where this art's from. So, because most of this is just art from you know the various CGs in the game, or just various um, artworks that's happened. That this one's from the anime, and then this one is from um, I don't know, I don't know how many of you know know about it but um the main Nietzsche compound compound heart that's from a um app in Japan for like iPhones and Androids and whatnot. There's a um, English version of the app now but it doesn't have everything the um Japan version does. And considering how long it's been since it's actually been updated, I doubt the US version is gonna get everything the um the Japan version does so that kinda sucks but oh well. Can't really can't really fuss too much about it. Here's another little ba little smaller badge. I will say, if I ever went to an anime anime convention, I would think about wearing at least maybe one of these or something. But I don't think there's any 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 sort of convention like that in my area, so I'm kind of screwed there. I think it'd be fun to go to one, but I just have I just I, had, I just haven't had the chance. There's another badge. I think I've already shown one like this off. Yeah, I have. I bought it by I bought I bought the second one by accident. Then we have this one. I have I have multiples of some of these because I bought these separately a few a few years back, but um, then I bought something else from someone that had it had multiple things that I didn't have, and things that I did have. So that's why that's why why I have multiples of some of some things. So I mean I didn't pay extra to get multiples of them. I just you know they they just came as extras and something and things I bought that I didn't have. So that's why there. And then that's it for here. For us on here, I'm gonna move over to here. That way, you know, I'm gonna try to get everything all in the front done first. And so we just have keychains that I still have in the box. If things are sealed and come in the packages like this, I do try to keep them sealed because I want them to stay sealed. But what I do is they how they have this little flap here that you know, basically makes makes where they can hang it on hang it on a shelf in a in a like a in like in like a store or something. I just tape it back that way it doesn't get in the way. Next up is one of these um USB wall chargers. 
I don't use it, obviously. I, this, this, okay, first of all, let me say something. This is one of those, um, retractable USB cable things, but I don't have to, I just don't have the USB cable for it anymore. Um, I, these two came in a package that I, I said I like to try and keep sealed, but when I got the packages in the mail, they were so beat up that I just kind of had to take them out, I believe. At least, it might have been the case from one of them. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not so sure about the other, but I know what happened with one of them. Moving on, he does have another pen. Again, it's sealed, so. I, I, like I said, I had no plan on using these, so that's why I take, that's why I um, leave them sealed. Another, another keychain I had made, I had made on a website. Uh, a little um, two-sided um, keychain type thing. I don't know what else to call it, but but it, it's if it, it's a soft material, so it feels more like a. I think it's I think they call it a mini pillow strap thing. I'm not not sure why they make something like that, but okay. <laughs> Except with another keychain. I do have a few keychains, but there, there's, there's ones I had made and ones I had made. And here's here got this one. Little, so these are, these are more like straps. I believe they're more like um, things you would tie, put on your like your book bags, your backpacks, whatnot, things like that. Here's a pen. I do. I don't really use this from time to time. It, the plan was to use it, but I did, I never did. So um um. I'm going to try to get these out of the way without them, without, you know, messing anything up. But these are, these are cards from the Neptunia Un Unlimited versus TCG that would, that, that had one set. But there's a, there's a company that makes card games for various animes and they had one for Blake, they had one for, ne made one for Neptunia, I mean. They were going to have like a set too, but they, um, the company went out of business if I, if I understood right. Before they can make set two, so that kind of sucked. Like, so they had one for Blaze Blue, the um, Madoka Magica anime. Anime, if I'm saying if I'm saying that right, I think they may ha may have had one for Sandra and Kagura, but you know that's that. I don't know all the ones they had, but I just know I'm pretty sure they had those three and Neptunia, or whatever. But yeah, I'm, I have a I have a better way to show these off, so I'm going to be doing that later. So if you guys give me a minute, I'm going to move these cards out of the way just so we can get to everything else. Because I, I kind of need both my hands to do this. Okay, that's done. Let's move on to the next. Let's move on to the next parts of this. Um, we're gonna start down here. Uh, right here is a um. I think this is called a dust washer. Um, n those of you that are into fighting games know that they have those things called arcade sticks. And um, I'm, I had my back in the PS3 days. I had my, I had I had one of those. And I made custom art, custom artwork for it, and this was the dust this this was just the dust washer I had for it. And for a dust, I think they I think it's called a dust wa dust washer. But what it is that little um that thing that went over the joystick, well underneath it, the kind of you hide the inner inner parts of the actual arcade stick. This this just went over this just went over that part. So like I said, since I don't have the arcade, well I think I still have the arcade arcade stick. I just don't use I just don't use it anymore. So I just kept that. Nick was another little strap, and I say strap because you know that little hole right here. They had like chains on that, so so to where you could strap it to your book bag or something. I just take them off. But I think it was two years ago. Idea Factory International so, sold this at their Anime Expo booth, and someone I know went. So I just gave them I just gave them the money to pick up what they have to what they had at Noir that year. Next up is a pack of um card sleeves. For like you know, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever. I used to play card games. Like I, 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 I started out with you Yu with Yu-Gi-Oh. Then I went, then I went to Dragon Ball Super. Then I went to Magic. And I kind of don't play them anymore. I mean, when I do, I mostly play on like the online games, the online versions of the games. That way, I don't have to actually spend money on cards anymore because that's st stupid expensive for some reason. <laughs> and so yeah. And really, the only card game I play now is the is the um, Pokemon card game, and that's very and that's very rare. This was another pack of card sleeves. There, I said I have I have a few of these because of how much I played card games back then. Well, back in the day when I bought those is what I meant. Um, there's one more pack of card sleeves coming out, I think in January that I do have ordered. So yeah. 
And for any of you that have wondered, I've actually been doing this for like, um, a little over six and a half years or so. Yeah, yeah, six and a half, six and a half years, six and a half years now. April 15th will be seven years that I've really been work, working on collecting all this. There's a, I have no clue, I have no clue what these are. <laughs> like, they don't, nothing on the back aside from that, so I... And you can't you can't even put like an ID card in there, so I have no clue what these are supposed to be for. I just know it's noir and it's black knot noir, which is probably my favorite outfit for her in general. So yeah. Next up another strap of black knot noir, and then the back of it does have the angel black card on the on the back. So I, I flip it around every now and then, but for the most part it stays on um it stays on noir. Uh show that off next not later. Next up is little I think this is meant to be a coaster for like your drinks and everything, but I'm not using that as a coaster because that'd ruin it. Even though this, the picture is on the back of it, I believe I'm still not gonna I'm still not gonna do that because to me that'd be a waste of buying a, buying a product because when you when you want to display this stuff for collection purposes and to show off. Yeah, I said it. Then another little strap. The same guy I said who made where did that? Hold on, let me. I found it. Let me get it. The same guy that made this also made this, and you know he he had the same way of buying it from him as he did this because he he sold this and that he sold he sold these two as a set. So I that's how I got both of those both of those from him. The little keychain, and then this is more like a um I think this is more of an ID holder because on the back ID business card whatever. On the back of it, it does have a little spot for like a um for some sort of re registration ID. Now for this, I have I have two of these because for some reason when I bought it, it came with two of them, and I, as you can tell, it, it had it had the other three goddesses on there, but I cut I cut them out and just had the noir and just left them black art. But if you're wondering what the dialogue says, it said um happy valent valentine's day so i'm not in incredibly sure where these came from i just found them for like what three dollars so i'm like why not go ahead and buy them they're super cheap and i got two of them for some reason next up is another little key another little strap thing that's in the shape of a cd case it's even as you can see it's even got what looks like a cd cd in there so it's actually it's actually kind of interesting and then um let me get move that to the side i'll show that off a little bit later Next up is volume two of the um of the high school novel or light novel series, I think it's called. Um volume one was had Neptune, volume two had Noir, Volume Three, Blonde, Volume Four, Vert, and then vo then Volume Five had Nepgear. Volume five is as is as high as this light novel went, so I'm not sure if they in intended to have more and they just didn't sell as well as they thought, or if five actually actually in in ended it. But I've never read it because I, I don't understand Japanese and I'm not sure there was ever a translation put online for it. So there's that. I think I, 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 think I can show, show both of these off at the same time. Uh, might, work better, might, might work better like this. But these are two rulers. Yes, they even made school supplies <laughs> of Noir and Black Art when the, when the anime first released. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you can use them over here because you know the way Japan does their measurements might be different than ours. I don't know. I mean, I probably just made myself look stupid there, but when don't I? <laughs> and next up is a ball ballpoint pen. Another one. I ha I have two of these because I wanted to have two of them because you know I wanted to keep one of them sealed, and then I wanted to actually use one, but that didn't happen. So there's that. So I, I just ended up keeping them both sealed, and you'll see both of them later on. Sorry for the camera jerk. I about dropped the camera. Next up is um little perler. What are these called? Perlers, I believe. I'm not sure. But basically, they're pixel art of like um of the uh, of next black art or next black. Or glued together with things like this. I think they're perler beads or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I do have a few of these because there's a guy on eBay who sells all these. So I'll I'll just go over those as they as we get to them. But I do have just about just about every version of Noir he has. I think I'm missing one, which I'll get at some point. Next up is another. These are keychains. This is just the black the black the black art version. I'll move it to the side. And then this is just the um black art version of the Perlers I was I showed earlier. 
I'm trying to figure out what's best to show. <laughs> Next up is there's another, another little badge that you can clip to your shirt or something of Noir. These were included in like a little, um, kind of like a, a, a gotcha, getcha, whatever it's called. It's like, basically it's a pack of like 18 that's got, you know, every character from Four Goddesses Online. And they're in a package that you don't know, that you can't tell who's who. And if you buy this one, it's going to be a random chance of who you, of who you get. Un unless you do like, a, what, like what I did and just buy an entire case. And you just get every character. And that's what I did with, with Noir. I'm, I've been trying to sell some of the other ones that I've got. But I think I just ended up throwing most of them away. Because, you know, I had them for like two years and they hadn't sold. So, next up is another little thing. Keychain. I don't, not too fond of this one. Just for the sole fact that, that you know, it's not a flat surface on the bottom. So, it doesn't want to like, but I just want to, just wants to stay like that. So, it's a little bit annoying there. Next up is two more. Just two of these um, from from um, Neptune RPG. These were like a, some sort of comic in Japan. I missed out on these originally, but I ended up finding a, one of the sites I visit. Finally got these back in stock about a couple, about three or four months ago is months ago ish or so, and I ended up getting them through there. So I was kind of happy there. Another thing of, of, of Black Knight Noir and Angel Blackheart. I about said next Knight Noir. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll just. Get that again I don't really know where those are from from I just know they had like various merchandise of this stuff which mer merchandise is kind of slowing down for, for the most part but you know is understandable for how old the series is now and so things that they are still making stuff so no more of these I have two of these because originally I bought the one off the, off, of, off of a website that I forget the name of now it was a different website than that, that I normally order from so that's why I forgot and then that same that guy I said I went to Anime Expo and I gave him the money for stuff. He said he found this at a at a booth there, and I told I told him to go ahead and buy because I didn't know what kind of char charm it was, and it just, just so happened to be another one, to be another one of these. So, so that's why I have two of those. Not a big deal. I don't mind having mul multiples of this stuff as long as it's not like super expensive to buy. If that makes any sort of sense. Next up is the three set of these that was made for um. Neptunia VR, um, and they're just basically straps of Noir's, Noir's human form and then her two goddess forms. Again, most most people for a strap or a book bag or something, but I'm not going to use it. For, I'm not going to use it for those purposes. I just I would just, just, just rather have it for um, collection sakes. And then here's more of the Perlers. Uh, here you have just the basic human form Noir, and then like I said, the two I had right here were. Um, uh, black heart and next black. So I'll move these off to the side. And here you just have um, ultra dimension noir and ultra di and ultra dimension black heart. Sorry, I'm not trying to get my finger finger in the camera. So, and I'll be I'm gonna have to cut the video because my camera can only record for so long. So I'll be right back in a sec. Um, let's just move on to over here. You got just a little on black heart, black heart noir. <laughs> wow, well, I can talk to I can talk today. Um, this is just another. Um, um, Black Knight Noir charm again, it's still sealed and everything. So I'm gonna, I need, I don't need to be saying that anymore because that, oh crap! Give me, give me a minute. There we go. One of the things that I had pushed aside kind of fell on the floor, so I wanted, I wanted to pick that up first. Next was another little charm for um, Neptunia RPG or Brave or Brave Neptunia. I still, I still need to beat this game. I haven't, I have it on the Switch and I haven't played too much of it. Next up is another charm. This was probably one of the something they made for Neptunia Action U. Next up is the two more of the perlers I have of of Black Knight Noir and Angel Blackheart. So I I honestly really do like these. Like they're pretty cute. They're pretty cute, yes. I mean, and I like the fact that I can have like pretty much all of Noir's forms in those base in like those perl perlers or whatever. I need to focus more on the camera. Oop, let me use my other hand for this. I didn't realize that. Okay, um, just another little strap. You know, I'm, oops, I'm not trying to get my, my hands in here as much as I, I'm trying to get my hands in here as little as possible. Just another Angel Blackheart, um, sort of postcard type thingy. The back of it is just that, but it does have Sunako, Sunako's autograph right here. At least I think that's her autograph. Okay, we'll move back over to this side. Um, this is a, um, a sort of iPhone case. Yeah, they make iPhone cases of this. I don't know what iPhone it is. 
Oh no, it's for no my my bad. It's for Android. Whoops. So ignore me on there. But yeah, I don't I don't have an Android. I have a old model. I have an old model Android six. Did I say Android six? I meant iPhone six. Whoops. There's gonna be some CDs. I have two because I wanted one sealed and I wanted another one open for the case of um that way I could have put the songs on my my computer and then transfer my transfer my iPod and still keep one sealed. That's the case for you know most most of this stuff for most of the CDs I have. Next up is a um. This is this is I'm pretty sure this is the case for an iPhone or an older model iPhone, but I don't I don't I'm not using it for that. I'm just using it for dis, for display purpose purposes. Next up is another one of those pins I said I had. This one is a, this one was the same reason. Bought two because I wanted I wanted to use one and keep one sealed. That didn't happen. So yeah. Then this is the same case where you know I have two, one sealed, one open because I wanted to use it. I'll focus on the camera pretty soon, guys. <laughs> I'm kind of doing a bad job. And it says DLC because these CDs were made for the um idle for the idle Neptunia game. And if you use the deal, if you if you use the code that, that this CD came with, you unlocked you got a new outfit for the game. I'm, I don't know what I don't know what kind of outfit it was. I just know it was I just know it, it was an outfit. There's more straps. I honestly really do like these. So you know, I just I just haven't I just don't use them. Next up is another two more straps for um for um tag blonde is the from the short way to say it. Um, another little strap for Brave Neptunia. Let me get my hand. Let me get on the hand. Is here's another strap. Right, like I said, I'm kind of just most of these are, most of these are just straps now, so I'm kind of you know not going over going over them as quickly as as detailed as I did everything else but this one I actually ended up searching for like three years for this one because no one wanted to sell it then I actually got lucky and found someone that was selling it so I just bought it I, I bought it from them as soon as I seen it here's another one, another one of these I bought this one again because I, I did want it sealed so yeah I found it was what ten dollars which is the cheapest I've ever seen this so I just ended, I just went and bought it next up is another strap Back up, it's just normal. Oh yeah, I forgot. I did. I did have a couple more, couple more of another per perler right there. There's another strap for Brave Neptunia, and then the last perler on this shelf. This was um Auto Noir from um Tag Blonde. It's actually I wish this outfit got more attention than it did, but for some reason no one really wants to um do do anything with that with that with that um dress. This is the um, Noir and Uni, um, Noir and Uni Duet CD. <laughs> I couldn't find the word to use. So yeah, just that. And then, I do want to get another one of this sealed because of, um, you know, I do want it sealed, but I just haven't, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Then this is the, um, the drama CD for, um, for Hyper Devotion Noir. Um, I don't know what it's about. I used to know back when, you know, the drama CD, the game first came out, but I've kind of forgotten it at, I've kind of forgotten what it, what it, what's it, what it, hmm. I've kind of forgotten what it's about at this point, so. I'll get my words out eventually, I just, I just need to stop talking so fast. And these are all the, these are mouse pads. I'm not going to show, oh yeah, forgot about this one. This is, this is a, um, pencil slash pen case for your school or whatever. I mean, you don't, you don't have to use it for school, but that's, that's what they, that's what they intended for it to be. So, yeah. Here's just some more cards. These were um, they made a, they made a um entire collection of the Neptunia music up to up to that point of when it that ma of when that collection was made, and this was just one of the little bonus things that came with it. And it, yeah, I do have they do have more sleeves on it too. I do want to get I do want to get another pack of these sleeves when I can find them, and I just I just I just haven't haven't been able to do that yet. Anyway, I'm just gonna show these mouse pads, off, mouse pads off one more time because I do have things I do have things in behind them that I want to show. So I'll go ahead and get some. I'll go ahead and get two of these moved. Sorry, I thought I heard something. This is volume two of the Neptunia anime. You had seven volumes, each with two episodes, and this was this was Noir's Noir's volume volume, and then this is just if I can get it without. And that's just, you know, the, the actual DVD itself. And then this is something that I really enjoy. Well, like. 
Because I, I think I'm the only one that has this, aside, for, aside from maybe the artist herself that made it. But it's actually a, a um, Angel Noir drawing. I wish I had a better way of showing this off, but I can't find a frame for it. And I, you know, I don't want to hang it. On, I don't want to put it on my wall without a frame on it. So, next up it's a clear file, but you can put your like folder, or your um, papers, whatever you it. if it can stand up right. It's just a you no, know, a brave Neptunia. You got the blacker on this side, and then Noir, then Noir on the other side. Uh, this here comes another clear file of no, Noir and her um, PJs that she had in um that she wore in um uh mega dimension <laughs> i'm forgetting the game the games here here's the second pin that i showed her a little bit a little bit earlier let me move this out of the way so, don't don't knock anything over here you have another clear file of angel black heart i think the back side of this has the little chibi version of it and yeah Here's the volume two of the manga. Again, this ended at four volumes. Volume one was no Neptune, two was two was Noir, three was Blonde, four Vert. That's kind of like the standard they have for this. So that was volume two, and that does with that's everything on this shelf. So I'm gonna cut the video, and I'm gonna put all this back, which is the hard part. So I will see you guys, and what we want you will see as a second. Okay, everything's back where it is. It can be kind of annoying sometimes trying to put, put all this back back where it's supposed to be, but moving on. Down here we have my figures. I'm not going to move these around because I don't want to, you know, I don't like moving my figures. I, I don't like moving, moving my fig, figures around that much because I don't want to break any, I don't want to break anything. So I'm just going to kind of go, I'm just going to kind of go over these fairly, fairly slowly so, so you can get a detailed view of them anyway. The two in the back right here. Um, those are garage kits. Like that, the the two in the very back that that gives a better view of them. Those are garage kits that that were already pre-colored. So I, that's how that's why I have those. I don't normally order garage kits because I don't like I don't like painting on myself because you know there's no way I could actually do it do it myself. So I just kind of you know hope that eventually some some people color color them themselves and then sell it, which which happened with both of those. So yeah, as for now, and there, also there's more mouse pads in the back. But as for now, I have every single official Noir slash Blackheart figure, figure that's been released. And there's still more that that won't fit here, so. I've got, I think there's three more. The, um, this one right here in the front, the, the, um, pajama one is actually my favorite. Well, one of my favorites. My two other favorites are somewhere else, which I, which I'll get to them in a minute. And that one in the back, I had the Noir's Twin Tails came broke in the mail when that when this one arrived, so I I had to, I had to glue them back on. So yeah, that's one. I, that's one I will very rarely pick up or anything because of that. And then this mouse this mouse pad in the back right here. This one was this one is super rare apparently because it took me a couple of years to find it. And when I did, I snatched up I snatched it up as quick as I could because I spent all that time trying to find it and when I finally found it, I bought it. And this one I found this one I actually found on eBay. This one right here. I don't know why it's got the Hyper Devotion Noir logo when it's the um Hyper Di Hyper Dimension Blackheart. So <laughs> I'm not entirely sure on that one and then if I can move these without breaking anything. Oops. I will show this off. Just a little just a little noir doodle doodle someone sent me. And then I do have like you know other Im other images behind these. Let me try I'm trying I'm trying my best not to break anything. And then made noir and then I yeah I'm not gonna be able to get get my hand back in there without breaking something so behind behind this one behind this mouse pad is a um image of noir of a cat of a cat girl noir doing like the little cat pose or whatever you with or whatever you want to call it but i do want to go over this one real quick this is the um, next black i think this is the i think this is the noir, noir figure i have that's costing me the most but it was honestly worth it it looks so good hello 
just just want just kind of wanted to peek into the camera right there. So yeah, I, it does come with a sword, but when I have the sword in her hand, it kind of obstructs the view of um, a couple other figures. So I just I just leave it on I just leave it on display without the sword. That way I can kind of see the uh, the other figures when when I'm looking at them. Let me just move these mouse pads back where they're supposed to go without without breaking anything. But before we move on. That's good. That's good. Now we got one more. I'll just kind of, I'll just kind of pan out one last time for all the figures. My camera's, my camera's picking up facial, facial recognition on next black. <laughs> okay, moving on. We have, well, first of all, I'll show all this stuff. Next, moving on, we have this shelf. And here we have the, the other three figures I was talking about. The um, Black Knight Noir here and the um, Angel Black Art here. Are the are the are the other two favorites I was talking about, and this one is just Bunny Blackheart. Probably the biggest figure I've got because this is a one fourth scale. The um, the next black one here is a one seventh scale. So that just just to give you some figure, this is a that's a one sixth I believe, or one fifth I I think I'm not entirely I can't remember the scales entirely. <clears throat> Sorry, um. Be able to just move on to the shelf. You have got some acrylic stands here, um, and I don't really want to move this stuff in behind it because you know I don't like moving figures and everything. But I do have the um, opening seat. Let me move this. I, I will move like the fr the frames and everything. Whoops. But there you have the um, opening CD, opening song CD for Hyper Devotion Noir, and then in behind there you do have the. Um, ending theme for hyper for hyper devotion noir like the other cds i do have a sealed and i do have a sealed and an open copy copy for both of these and then behind it is just more mouse pads and then what you can see here is actually my um my collection of, of hyper devotion noir video games i have 10 copies yeah i think it's if i remember right it's three u.s copies three japan copies Two Korean, one European, and one Ger and one German copy. I think that's what it is. And yes, I do have I do have the platinum the platinum trophy for all three versions or all three re region versions. I think is I think is the better way to put it. And then these right here, I do want to show these off because um these are special. This one right here is is signed by Sunako, well autographed, and this one over here is autographed by um Asami Imai. Which is um, Noir's Japanese voice actress. The um that set of of um TCG cards I said that came out for this series, they had this is what this is this is where I got these from. There was a there were super super rare variants of these images that had autographs. Each goddess had its own autograph version. One by Tsunako. I think that's I think that's how you say her name. And then the other one is signed by the actual voice actress for that specific character. So yeah, I, I was just lucky enough to get the one for him, Blackheart. After like buying probably like eight boxes of of, of the um, card game. <laughs> I bought quite a few to get this, but I, I finally did. And then just moving that down below it, you have a, um, if I can show it off. Um, anyway, that's a, a um, let me, let me um, get, get it so I can show it off better. But this is a um a um PlayStation 4 faceplate. The the original PS4 did have removable removable re removable faceplates, and when Mega Dimension Neptunia came out in Japan, they made like several faceplates for net for the game. And I was able to get I was able to get the Noir one. I did have the PS4 that this came with, but um I don't have that PS4 anymore. I actually have the Pro now. Mm. I should, that I should hit my foot. Let me see if I, let me put it back where it goes without. Okay. <coughs> you just, you just some more prints, more tapestries, and um, I'll, sh I'll get down here and show these off. But these are more badges that I actually have, that I actually bought a case for, and these are more cards from the TCG set that um. Each box you bought had his had came with came with its own little special card. 
And you know, it was the goddesses, IF and Kampa, each with glasses on from the Rebirth 1 games. Because around the time, I think it was when, I think it was when Rebirth 1 was the newest game in the series, was when this TCG came out. So yeah, that's kind of why they did that. You know, you just have more badges here. I need to, I need to fix that, because that's, that's about to fall out, fall off. It's not a perfect fit, but they still work. Because they were made for... They weren't made for these kind of badges. Well, at least these size badges. But they still work pretty well. So I just, I just, put, my, I just, I just put my favorites in here. And now I believe just have, you know, other various things. And I'm keeping on top. And I put on, put these on top of. Moving over, we'll get over here first. You have, um... Just a little, um, uh, what are these? Mi microfiber cloths that I just use like wall scrolls. You got this. Then you got, then you got no, no one over here. And I do have Joy-Cons that, that, I, that I put in the wire skin zone. Actually, let me move this over to the side a little bit. And then I've got black heart skins over here. And I'll just show that off because why not? <laughs> so a little, little bonus stuff. Okay, moving on. That's all the shelves. I will be right back. Okay, moving on. That's all three shelves. So I'm, I'm just gonna do one more zoom, one more pan over them. I believe that's the right word. Just to get, just to show them off again. Because why not? Okay, now now moving on to the walls. Which this will this will be the quicker quicker segment of it. Cause you know there's not much show to the wall. There's I don't have to move anything on the walls. So I'll show off right here first. Cause it, right right here is behind my TV. Then moving on to the, what 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 I what I like to call the um, hyper devotion wall part, because all all four of these take all four of these wall scrolls or tapestries are from Hi hyper devotion noir, and I, and as long as I can as long as I can, you know, have it my way, these four, these four wall scroll wall scrolls are going to stay right here, and they have for like the past three or four years, I, I think. Well. At least at least five years, because it's been Hyper Devotion released released in 2014. So at least five years or so, that it's, it's been like this. Because I don't like moving this up a, a lot, even the wall scrolls, because you know I don't want to break anything or tear anything. And here it is. This this, this Blackheart one is actually the very first um, noir wall scroll I got, and as you can tell it's crinkled and everything because the um, seller I bought this from. He just shipped this. He just shipped this in a box, and the box got crushed. So yeah, I do want to buy buy this again, but you know, I want. I've been buying other stuff, and I haven't really seen this available for sale that much anywhere recently. So I may be out of luck on it. And we went on here. Three of my more favorite wall tapestries. Well, the one in the middle, anyway. The one in the middle is probably one of the most beautiful ones I've seen. This one, the one in the middle. And then this one right here are prob probably the three most beautiful ones I have, or at least in my opinion, in my opinion or whatever. Up next up is here is this prints of, of um all the C, uh, well of most of the CGs from Hi Hyper Devotion, and someone's thrown in that I that I wanted. So it's more like a Hyper Devotion, you know, little mini wall if you want to call it that. If this is down here. These right here were actually um, Nintendo Switch dock skins I had. I just, I got I got another dock that had the the Pikachu and Eevee one on it, so I, I just kind of want, wanted to um, display that. And, my, and the rest of this other stuff is the stuff that I took out of art books that I've gotten from like limit, limited editions and limited editions, limited editions of the games and everything. So. And for now, it's gonna, for now it's gonna be like this until I find something else that I wanna put over it. And the next up is over here. I think last year of this next black pic image, I think I had the um, poster of it, and I think I had mentioned that I, I um, at some point I wanted to buy the wall scroll of it, but I wasn't able to find it. And but I, I have the wall the wall scroll, scroll of it now. I found it somewhere pretty cheap, so I, that's why I have it. I just took. I just found it for that price and was like, I'll buy it. This is more tapestries. I bought this. I bought these from someone else, from someone on Instagram. So yeah, moving here. It's just more stuff about art books. That's a calendar. 
more tapestries. That this is this, this one right here was a was the was a um um a pre-order bonus for buying the um Black Knight Noir figure off Ami Ami. And um Ami Ami is my main website I buy I buy my figures from. There's another washroom. Then here's up the moving down is my pillows. I have quite a few of them now. I think last year I, I think last year I only I only had one, but I I bought a new pillow itself because I wanted two of them. So I just I just figured out why not go ahead and get both of them with Noir. And I have a blanket now too. Okay, moving up over here is a. I don't know much sure what that is. I just know it's got all the hyper devotion characters on it, and I but I, I call it a frisbee, because why not? There's a clock. I think the clock got damaged in shipping from Japan over to over to America, so it doesn't really work. Which you know not that not that big a deal because you know I just wanted it. <laughs> like back when I first started started this, I kind of went crazy over what I bought, and that's how I ended up getting that. Nowadays, I'm not as crazy on buying everything I see. Because I'm kind of happy with what I've got. And these are just t-shirts. And I, ha I have my a window, my blind up and window up to um, try and get a little bit more lighting in here. Because my, the lighting in my room is actually pretty terrible for cameras and everything. You just have more 4x6s I printed off. You have a couple more. You got... A noir plush I've got inside of the cup because it's funny. And then let's see if I can't show it off. But I do have a I do have a um play mat. And you can see the time. If you can of that I do have this on. The, by play mat, I mean I mentioned I played card games. And I had I actually had a couple of custom play mats made of noir that I that I that I used when I went to like my, my um, video video game tournaments and everything. Well Video game tournaments. I mean, my card game tournaments. I actually won like two or three Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments at my tournaments at my card sh at my card shop. So, actually pretty happy. Pre actually pretty happy I was able to do that. Here you have just more tapestries and four by sixes that I printed off. Printed off. I do have quite a few of these, which you'll see coming up. And then what I what I plan to do here. Is that I plan to get these removed because these are custom wall scrolls that I have. I have a, quite a few custom wall scrolls because I honestly do have more than what's on my walls in storage because I don't have room for them. So yeah, most of them work, most of them are custom because I'm, I'm replacing them with um, various other things. So what I want to do, all these four by sixes, I'm going to get four by sixes of these images, take these down, hang them up, and hang up the four by sixes. That way I can still have these on display, but still, but still, I still have other pictures as well. If that makes any sort of sense. And I'm, I'm, I want to do that, do that, do that with a couple of other areas that I'll say when I, when we get to them. Moving on, we just have more four by sixes. You know, the four by sixes aren't, aren't cheap; are pretty cheap. They're like tw where I, where I get them is like twenty five cent a thing. So, well, twenty twenty five cent a print. So. Not bad, and the frame the frames I buy are like a you know are like less than a dollar. So yeah, and yes, these tops are edits that that a friend that a friend makes that I, that a friend I have makes. No, I'll just do like a, a a side view of them that way I can show them all off. Excuse me. Yeah, so I mean, like I said, these are actually pretty cheap, and you know the fact that I can have s s some of my more favorite noir images on the on my walls actually makes me actually makes me pretty happy. I think I can show two. I think I can actually show, show two a row now. Yeah, but yeah. I have I have these all, all the way down to the pr to pretty much the floor, and as you see there, I've got more frames that I need to use that I, that I need to fill up. I actually do have the images images to use them for. I just haven't gotten around to I just haven't gotten around to actually you know putting them on my walls yet because I'm too lazy and I've been too busy and I've been too too busy playing games. <laughs> yes, I've even put them on my I've even put, put, hung them on my closet walls now. <laughs> well, the closet border because in behind 
in my in my in behind here is my clo closet that has my clothes in it. As you can see there. And down there is my there, down there is my splatoon stuff. And yeah. And there's <laughs> I, mean, I meant to move that trash I meant to move that trash can before I got to this point in the video, but I didn't, so that's my fault. So just, just let me move a couple of things and I'll be right back. Okay, moving on. Sorry about that little skip. I, I'm stupid and I'm stupid and I, and I forgot to move all that stuff. We normally just have these two tapestries here with you know more, more four by six prints between them. You just have these are these are called um these three right here are called um bathroom tapestries I believe. I don't know if that means they're waterproof or what, but that's what they're called for some reason. And when I said I had ways of showing off every card in the in the um, TCG for Noir, here's what I meant. So I'll, I'll just run through these real quick. If and these are from um, a trading card game called Last Sea, and they they just had ver they just had a card game based on Neptunia as well. But the company themselves actually did more anim more animes besides Neptunia. So again, I have no clue how the um, TCG works or plays. I just have the cards, and I do have on here. I do even have these on in card sleeves on the side, on, on the wall or whatever. And then maybe we got more tape. We got more tapestries. You got the um, Noir Black Art Next Black set, followed by the um, Light Novel School Outfit, which is probably one of my more favorite ones. Which so I would kind of hope that these would e that these would eventually get put in the games, but they never have. Then you just got more four by sixes I printed off, and there's a box that I need to move. Well, probably probably better just get rid of it. Oh okay, yeah, then right here you got just this this just this one, and down here is the wedding tapestry of Noir and Nepkir. I just folded it to where it's only Noir. Then you got up here. When I said I was wanting to have a few other areas for for my four by six prints, this was the, this was the um, other area I was talking about. I want to get this looking like how um this over here is. So, because I should be able to have I should be able to make that work. I just gonna you know get get the time to do that get the time to do that and everything. But this is the let's see. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually the final part of it, and this is the back of my door. This this next back right here was actually the um um the pre-order bonus from Ami Ami when you ordered the um, next black figure. So yeah, and then the, the one on the the tapestry on the left is um a, a pre-order bonus from, from one website for um Bra Brave Neptunia. I think this one was for um. This is another one that's got Noir and Nepgear on it, but again, I folded it to only include Noir. Um, what, what was this from? It was either from Mark II or Rebirth II, I forget. It was, I'm pretty sure it was from one of them. So yeah, moving down here, we got a tip of Noir and her pajamas. And then down there's something I found, something like someone drew and actually sold in my Pokeball Plus because, because it wanted to be in the camera. Down here is just... Now here, and it, it, this is the tapestry when you ordered the um, limit, limited edition of Hyper Devotion Noir from Idea Factory International. So I have, I do have that. Then what was here was actually the the hat that they're selling. I don't, I don't wear hats. I just bought this because you know it did have Noir on it. So yeah, I'll put that back where it was. And like I said, that was the last bit of my Noir shrines. Sorry, I thought I heard somebody pull up the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> not sure why not sure why that happened but yeah that that was the end of that and hope you guys enjoyed and I will say I'm pro I'm gonna do another one of these next year if I still have my YouTube channel I'm kind of done with YouTube for now I've kind of moved over to I've kind of moved over to just streaming on Twitch so I'll probably put that in the video description so if you want to still follow me just follow me on Twitch and follow my Twitch and my Twitter to know when I'm gonna go live go go live so yeah, um, I'll just do one more quick shoot over of everything.
thinking about it, I probably I probably should I probably should have done this at the start. Yeah, like when when like I did like I said, this is like a a six and a six and a half year thing in the a uh, six and six and a half year um, collection in the making. I guess is but is the word for it. So you know. But yeah, that's everything. I said I'll do this again sometime this somewhere around this time next year. So I will see you guys in the next video. And hope you enjoyed. Let me let me know what you thought. And see you whenever I decide to upload another video. So yeah, later.